Good evening, welcome to episode 9 of Monday Evening with Alex and Luke. We're here at the Mondrian Hotel in... Miami Beach. And this is probably the coolest hotel I've ever been to in my entire life. Yeah, it's very cool. There's like a pool party going on down there. I Which, feel like it's an episode of The Hills. <laughs> we're, not, we're not cool enough for that, but this is awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, how do we get to Miami? So it's been a long week of travel. We started this week in Washington, D.C., if you can believe it. And from Washington, we drove a very short drive that took a very long time to Virginia Beach. And Virginia Beach, we started driving to Charleston, but had to stop in the town of... Wilmington. Yes, Wilmington. We didn't really explore. We just stayed the night. Sorry, Wilmington. And then from uh, Charleston, Savannah. Yep. Savannah to West Palm Beach. Yep. And West Palm Beach to Miami Beach. Yeah, here and we it's, are. It's amazing. Our best meal this week happened at the beginning of the week when we were in Washington, D.C., and it was recommended by a follower on Facebook. His name is Craig. Thank you, Craig. It's just down the street from the White House on Pennsylvania Avenue. It's called Founding Farmers, and I had the best meal, maybe even the trip. Yeah. I had a Yankee pot roast. It looked like this, and then uh, within five seconds, it, it looked like this. It was amazing. Yeah, and it's cool because they use local ingredients, all like American, mm -hmm. you know, oh, so good. And, and it was LEED certified? LEED certified, owned by a farmer's union in D.C. They, they do compost, they you recycle have to. things. You, you have to go to Founding Farmers. If not, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Best sleep this week occurred at Virginia Beach. Yep, at the Comfort Inn and Suites, right on the beach. It was amazing. There were two bedrooms, which is always nice after living in a car with someone for... Was that our first time on the trip in separate bedrooms? Yes. That was great. It was amazing. <laughs> we like each other. Yeah, but... Separate know, bedrooms are good from time to time. It was nice. Uh, right on the ocean, we played Scrabble on the balcony. Yeah, it was just a great spot to really take in the city and watch the people go by. People are going by on their bikes all yeah. the afternoon. It was great. Loved it. Loved it. Our favorite attraction this week actually was Virginia Beach, or more specifically Sandbridge Beach, which is an area just south of the main strip. And what made it our favorite attraction was we met up with the good people at Surf and Adventure, and we went surfing and had an adventure. Yeah, kayaking. We went kayaking in Back Bay Wildlife Refuge, and then we went surfing on the beach, and I stood up on a surfboard for the first time in my life. And I did not. But it was so much fun. And the people at Surf and Adventure, they were awesome. It was amazing. I would definitely go back for surfing and or an adventure. Our favorite city this week is only our favorite city because you voted us there over Myrtle Beach. And that city is Charleston, South Carolina. What an enchanting city Charleston is. It's just so beautiful. It's amazing. There's beautiful old buildings. Yeah, the architecture and the Spanish moss on all the trees is just so like wistful and romantic. Restaurants and bars. It's, it's just probably the best city we've been to in a long time. And by long time, I mean a week. Yeah, because Asheville was kind of fun. Asheville too. was really cool. But <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina. If you go to South Carolina and you don't go to Charleston, what's wrong you're, with you? Not smart. You're not, you're not a smart one. We're being with big bullies this week. Yeah. And maybe what made Charleston our favorite city is that our favorite moment of the week occurred there. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing about Charleston, maybe we loved it so much because we got to meet some amazing people who we met on Twitter. Skin the Ocean, Christina, who is our favorite follower last week. And Noah Everett, not his last name, but middle name, but at Noah Everett on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they showed us around the entire city. They took us to... And Greg. Yeah. And Greg. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Uh, but we went everywhere, all over Charleston, and really got to take in the city in a way that we wouldn't have been able to as tourists. Yeah, I felt instantly like I was old friends with them. We were sitting on patios, going and trying different local beers, and it was just a really good night. Yeah, I really if, if we had to say our best moment of that night would be sitting on that patio mm -hmm. in Charleston, in yeah. the back. And it, I have all the bug bites to prove that I was there. It's amazing. So thank you, people Thanks, from guys. Charleston, for making that our best moment of the week. This week, the thing we learned came from our new friend, Noah Everett, founder of Twitpic, who told us that the legend of the Spanish moss in the South comes from an old tale about Spanish lovers who came over to Charleston and wanted to buy a plantation, and something happened, I think, involved some people who didn't want them there, and they ended up cutting off her raven, her long raven dark hair, and throwing it up into the old live oak trees and it hung and shriveled up into gray and it's this really romantic tale of why the Spanish moss is there but really we just learned about Spanish moss in general <laughs> because yeah. we've never seen it yeah it's really cool hopefully it doesn't
doesn't come from a dead lady's head. Yeah. It's kind of neat if it I, does. I, no. It's yeah, beautiful. It's anyway. great. Yeah. Spanish <laughs> moss probably doesn't come from there. Any scientists, feel free to comment below. <laughs> That is episode 9 of Monday Evening with Alex and Luke. Next week, we will have been with our special guest for the entire week, so we'll have lots of fun stories to tell you. Don't know where we'll be coming from, but we'll definitely have more to show you from the Mondrian, that's for sure. Yeah, and the Miami area. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in seven days. Alex and Luke. Dot com.